Hi, my name is Joanna, and I will be teaching the Saturday morning Power Pilates class. And I'm here today to walk you through some exercises. So how about we get started? So I'll have you lie down on your mat to begin. We're just gonna rest our hands by our side and feel the weight through evenly through our hips. And I'll have you lift your arms up just above overhead, and we're going to start with some gentle rotation here. So I'll bring the arms over to the right, keeping them straight through the elbows. And inhale and exhale as you move, rolling from one shoulder to the other. And we'll just get the rotation through our thoracic mid-spine here, which will help us to breathe more freely and move with more fluidity in all of our daily movements. So as we move here, inhale to one side and exhale to the other. Inhale. And one more and we'll bring it back to the center. Perfect. So our next step, we're gonna add our legs into the mix. So as we move to the left with our arms, we're gonna let our hips Allow our legs to fall to the right in a slight hip sway, feeling that rotation through the mid-back a little bit deeper now. Inhale once we get there and exhale to bring it back to center. And inhale to the right. And exhale back to center. And as we move, really feel that low belly draw in to bring the legs back to center. And we'll try it one more on each side. Inhale. Exhale to center. And inhale. And we'll exhale to center. Perfect. So now that we have a little bit of rotation going, I'll have you come up to side lying. So we're going to come down on our right side. And feel free to keep your bottom leg bent for some stability. And line all of your backside as if you're against a wall. So I'll have you stack your shoulders on top of one another, your hips the same, and ankles if you choose to. But if the bottom leg is bent, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to start with no weights. And we're going to bring our top arm to flagpole position and our leg up to body height. So now, up. On an inhale, we're going to breathe the arm out and kick the leg forward and exhale back through center to the opposite side. So as we move now, let's lead forward with the heel and back pointing the toe feeling that twist through the middle. And now if you can bring your attention to the reaching feeling through the tips of your fingers and through the toes and the heel, I think you'll find that the sensation is deepened in that twist through the middle part. All right, and to add a little bit of difficulty to this, we can pick up one of our weights and continue moving. Push up and push back up, 
Inhaling the arm up overhead, looking, drawing the gaze up to the hand, and exhale through to the other side with that push up, and inhaling up, drawing the gaze up to the hand, and exhale, bringing the weight through. One more on the right, and one last one on the left. All right. And now to add a little bit of difficulty to this, feel free to use a yoga block if you can't reach the floor. So either in the taller position or on its side. So we'll start off again with our hands up, but this time we'll pull them out to an airplane position. So we're going to do that side bend again, but first I'll just have you loosen up through here by doing a small twist, drawing the knees to the back hand and back to center. And we're really going to try to focus on keeping our hips straight forward facing. And draw the gaze back. Excellent. Back to center. And we'll just do a couple more before we move on. And center. Excellent. Now we'll bring it back to center and what we're going to do is start tipping in one direction, allowing the opposite leg to fall away from gravity, leaning on our leg, tipping here, and reach down for that block. And on the exhale, we'll bring ourselves back upright, finding the ground beneath us. And we'll do that again. So it's tip to the right. Allowing the leg to lift up and exhale it back down to center. And we'll try this a few times, really lengthening through those arms, feeling energy out of the fingertips, staying tall out of the base arm so that we have a connection running right through and back to center. And inhale down. And exhale back to center. And inhale down. Last one. And back to center. Again, we would do this on the other side to even out. But for today, we're going to move right on to our last exercise. Picking up both of our weights if we want some extra resistance. But if not, feel free to do it without this. So I'll try it first without the weights. So we're going to start with our hands out in parallel and our feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So as we move, we're going to start with a small plie, loosening up through the hips and really feeling the grounding towards the floor. So we'll keep those arms up in front of us and on every plie, we're going to move our arms. So first we're going to move from center to the right and close it and open to the back as we twist through that spine. So we'll open to the left too, and back, left, open, and center. So I'm just going to pick up the weights, and we'll try that one again. So plie. 
And you'll find that using the weights really adds an extra element and challenge to this exercise. So really feel the twist through that mid spine. Try to keep the hips square.